All right, I'm going in. A microwave? If Gabriel knows Mosley, it's used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. There's a tracking device in the drawer. This tracker might come in handy. What was that? Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Do you know of anything interesting going on this evening? You mean St. John's Eve. Mr. Knight, I know of nothing that you would find uh, amusing. shrine is filled with items that both fascinate Gabriel and also make his skin crawl. Professor Hartridge called this a sake madule. Gabriel slips the signal device into the sake madule. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, no, just looking. Now if only they take the coffin to the ritual. I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. I see. Uh, no problem. I'll just, uh... Leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. A new series of crosses is on the wall. Let me get these new marks down. I should check this against the code Madame Moonbeam translated for me. Maybe I can figure out what this new message says. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols except for three.
Gabriel should at least wait until the Watchman is gone before defacing the tomb. Gabriel should at least wait until the Watchman is gone before defacing the tomb. I'll leave a message of my own. Since and Daddy's message isn't quite right, Gabriel rubs it off in frustration. Since and Daddy's message isn't quite right, Gabriel rubs it off in frustration.
pleased with his message, Gabriel tosses the brick down. Now if only DJ reads it in time. Hey Grace, here I am. Oh boy, party time. Will you do me a favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? I'm going to a party tonight. Costume, you know. Hmm, you don't say. I guess you're going with Malia. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out when I don't even like Malia? Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. It's perfectly understandable. I know that you have certain feelings for me. Quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine, I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Sure, but could you say that one more time and pout your lips more? Ugh. what I say? All right, let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. Hold still. Maybe you'd like to tie me up. One more remark and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. Done. It's just stunning. Sorry I couldn't make it last longer. Well, it was about what I expected from you. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. That doesn't seem to work that way. Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Sake Madeleine made it to the ritual and that this thing will work. All right, there's a blip. They must be here with the Sake Madeleine. Damn Mosley and his infernal machine. This better be working. Gabriel hopes this tracking thing is working correctly. Gabriel feels so turned around. Is this thing working?
The entrance to the clearing is marked with voodoo skulls. At last. When in Rome. Here goes nothing. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, Brother Eagle. But first... Name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. Dambala. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? Ogun Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs> Gabriel! Gabriel, wake up! Ow! My head! Oh, it's about time! I've been trying to wake you up for hours. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. Something about Malia. She's the head priestess of the Voodoo Cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night? She was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. But last night, Malia changed. She became... someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I followed you last night. I knew you were gonna try to sneak into a ceremony. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at that circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. Molly wouldn't hurt me. What about Tetelo? Tetelo. They were chanting that last night. That's the name from Gunther's journal, the woman who took the talisman. Yes, Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. 
You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. He knows more about this than we do. Okay, I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Grace. It's that spirit, that Loa. It's Tetelo. Yeah, possession is convenient that way. Call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the shop. Didn't Grice say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht. This is Gabriel Knight. Can I speak to Wolfgang, please? Ja, Herr Knight. Ein Moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. It's even worse than I thought. We have to talk about what I should do. What can you tell me about voodoo? My library contains many books on the occult and religions. And I have read about some particularly evil voodoo cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. What can you tell me about voodoo? It sounds as though you have learned much during your investigation in New Orleans. Perhaps you will fill me in when we have a chance to sit down and talk. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I only know what you have told me. They seem to be very similar to the killings in Gunther's journal. What can you tell me about New Orleans? It was just another American city to me, until I started dreaming about you. Now I feel it's not safe for you there. I wish you would leave. Do you know anything about snakes? I have not studied the subject. I have an intense dislike for them. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I'm afraid I've never heard of it. Do you know what Capri San Carl means? No. What does it mean? It means goat without horns. It's a term used for human sacrifice in voodoo. Well, let's hope we can avoid any more of that in this family. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? No, I'm afraid not. I've heard rumors of a secret howlfall here in New Orleans. Yeah, I am sure they have a temple there. Would probably a very elaborate one. You should not go near it though. Not alone. Do you know anything about animal masks? Yeah, Tetelo's people wear animal masks for their rituals, don't they? It is not at all uncommon. Many occult groups are based heavily on animal totems. Animals have such pure, primal traits. Spirituality, good or bad, is about reaching these pure levels. Aggressive and cunning like the snake. Agile and nurturing like the monkey. Even our family is associated with the image of a lion. Do you know anything about Veves? It is a visual symbol of one or more loa. Each loa has its own sign, which is used to summon it. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Dambala is a snake. He, he is a loa, a wooden god. Yes, he's one of the primary loa of the Getty tribe. Ah, I see. Good work. That information might prove useful. Does Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? It is a voodoo loa, is it not? Yes, a particularly nasty one, so I understand. Have you come across anything about it in your research? He seems to be feared by most voodoo groups. That's all I know. Do you know anything about black voodoo? My library contains many books on the occult and religions, 
and I have read about some particularly evil voodoo cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. What can you tell me about Schottenjägers? Of course, I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schottenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schotten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes. Shadow Hunter. The Ritters have been shot in Jaegers for many centuries. No one is sure when it began or how, but we have records of ancestors as early as the 13th century fulfilling this role. Some believe that the role was given us when... Ah, but such fantasies cannot be of use to you at the moment, Gabriel. Most people are completely blind to the fact that evil does exist. Shadows of darkness, spirits, vampires, riches, demons, these things are real. It is to their advantage that the world has become so scientific, so cynical. But we know they exist, Gabriel, and we hunt them. How do we hunt them? And why? Why? Because it is our duty. As for how, that is something you will have to learn. But it's not easily explained over the phone. Do you know anything about rada drums? Rada drums? You mean ceremonial drums? Yes. The Getty tribe uses drummers around the corner as relay messengers to keep track of their business. Ah, so drums have a ceremonial use too. It would be useful to know their code, Gabriel. I had Grace find some information on it. I can see you already have the mind of an investigator. I hope it serves you well. Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel, after this is all over. For now, we must deal with the matter at hand. Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary Loa for the Getty tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. You remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's Loa during the killings in Charleston. This sounds similar, but Tetelo has obviously become a much more powerful Loa than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the Talisman. Let's talk about the Talisman. I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings, and in my dreams. It was in the family for centuries before Tetelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Schottenjäger itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Schottenjäger swore to use the power for good, never for evil, for defense, not offense. We've been searching for the talisman for years. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. This the talisman, Tetelo has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. How can we regain the talisman? The talisman is probably buried with Tetelo's remains. That's what gives her Loa so much power. To find the talisman, we must find her remains. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once again in the hands of the Schottenjägers. Is there anything else you can tell me about Tetelo? I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. The religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? The spirit that she has become, that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetelo bears little resemblance to the woman she was before the burning in Charleston. She was once a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. 
But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ah, we have pondered that question a long time, we Ritters. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe in New Orleans. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetelo's African homeland, but Gunther says so little in his journal about her tribe. And slaving records are practically non-existent. As for the other idea, we had no clue that Tetelo's people were in New Orleans until now. How would we find Tetelo's remains again? We must locate the tribe's original African homeland. Her remains might be there, or they might be in New Orleans, buried among her descendants. Let's discuss the possible African homeland. All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him, he thinks the tribe's name was Agree, and that they live near the Fawn tribe in what's now called the People's Republic of Benin. This is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Stay low. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibility that Tetelo's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine shot in Jaeger, but only if you are not dead. Um, sure. I'll wait. Goodbye, then, Gabriel. And remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Times dated June 24th, 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murder case in the paper today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou St. John last night. Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's a ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates it to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel knows better. Gabriel's horoscope today reads, Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of Dodge. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy.